Hey everybody, welcome to a new episode of Trousers from Scratch. Today we're going to be closing up the legs of our trousers um, and then we're going to look into the cross seam. Here's what the trousers look like for the moment. Um, we got a fly in the front, we got one leg that's opened up there, we got the other leg there. So what we're going to do is we're going to be closing these legs, good sides together. And we're going to be sewing the side seam of the leg all the way down here. As you can see, I've pinned these legs together, this is one of them, all the way to the top here. I started at the crotch and I worked my way down. You sew this in the same direction as you pin it. You start at the top, at the crotch, and you work your way down to the leg. Um, as you can see, I've got the, um, let me think, left leg up here. and. Um, you can see the top lining, uh, this is the front of the leg, this is the back and you want to start exactly at the front crotch seam that's coming down from the fly, you get a fly here coming down and I got my needle exactly in that line of stitches and I'm going to be running it down and we have a one centimeter seam allowance I have these engravings in my top plate of my sewing machine these engravings that say one centimeter and you know one and a half, two and so forth so I know I'm exactly at the right spot. So I'm just going to start in a back tack and then just let it go. Do the entire leg. There's no need to stretch things. Just you know, let it feed naturally. Okay, um, I've sewn the seam now on both legs. Um, what we're going to do is, as you can see, this is unfinished, and then on the other hand, we, the other um, seam of our leg, we get this really nice seam here that we finished. So we're going to be doing the same thing on this side, which is to say we're going to finish these seam allowances one by one, each individually. I'm going to use my serger to finish the edge. You can also run a zigzag along the edge, and then I'm going to press them open. So once we've um, sewn the inseam of our legs, both on this side and this side, this is what our trousers look like from the back. On the front we get uh, the finished fly, on the back things are still open. Uh, we still have to finish this cross seam here. Um, how we're going to do that is we're going to put this leg in that one. One of the legs, you pull it inside out. so that the good side of the fabric is on the inside and then the other leg you, you put in the first one you put it in the leg that has the fabric inside out result is that both legs are together good sides of the fabric are matching and then here this is the seam that we're going to be sewing so what we're going to do now is pin this and then sew it. And here's our cross seam sewn. I've got it pressed. Finished the um, seam allowance there on my serger and I've pressed it flat. And it's all done. One thing that's good to do now is to press in our pleat. Um, these are classic trousers, and classic trousers come with a pleat. And you may remember that we basted the pleat line here to front. So on your ironing board, put your trousers down like this. Align this nicely on the pleat, and then press in the front pleat use some steam or make it wet so they get a nice press there. Once that's nicely pressed in then the back pleat will come naturally from that. 
So we're gonna do that first because it's easier to do this when we haven't put on the waistband yet. Okay, um, for the actual pressing. So what I what I did is I've pressed down this side nicely on the base of the line along the way. And I've put on some steam and some water and I made that a very nice crease. And then I put in some pins just on the edge to make sure that this stays in place. And then I sort of work my way up to the other side, flattening the fabric. And then with my iron, sort of make sure that, you know, keep that side down and then work your way to this and you'll find a natural crease on this side too and then once you find that you also neatly press that in place with some steam, some water and then the end result is that you will have a nicely flat leg with two sharp creases and you go as high as you can all the way to the top on the front and then on the bottom you know, you just have to, you may have to shift it a bit to make sure you can go all the way up there. And you do that for both legs. When you've uh, pressed in the pleats, your trousers should fold double nicely when you hold them up like this. When you take the legs, you should have, you know, trousers that hang nicely folding on the pleat. That's how, you know, you can see that it's okay. Actually, for the back side, if you want to run the pleat all the way to the top, um, it might be easier to do the last bit when you've got them on top of each other. So you can make sure it's nicely symmetric. So this is done now. Um, we've got our legs closed. We've got the crotch, the cross seam stitched. Actually, the trousers are finished. From the leg point of view, we've got the legs um, pressed to get the crease in it. And all we need to do now is hem them, which we'll do at the very end, and put on the waistband, which is what we're going to be doing next. That's it for today. Next uh, installment, we'll be putting on the waistband. Um, another somewhat tricky part. Um, it's not really that difficult, but I'm not very good at it. So. Um, We'll do that next time, or at least we'll try, um, and then we're, we're getting close, it's starting to look like trousers. So, hope to see you soon.